Hello everybody and welcome to Freaking Effects, where I'm going to show you today how to do a professional green screen, how to do an advanced king. And first of all, I gotta say that I'm really pissed off with the last update of Camtasia Studio, that is the the program that I use for, you know, recording my tutorials and so, because uh, it doesn't get my microphone, so I have to use Adobe Audition for, um, you know, recording the audio and so. And for some reason, now Camtasia Studio doesn't let doesn't let you import any other format that isn't mp3 regarding audio and I can't import my WAP files and for some reason the mp3 just sounds extremely bad like especially in the S can you hear that it sounds like an 8-bit robot and I really hate it but let me know in the comments below please if this is something really annoying for you just let me know and I will do my best to fix that because my last tutorial I had to repeat it like three times and there was no way to fix the audio I don't know what's wrong with it but if you can cope with it if you don't really mind about the audio quality just let me know so that I can be calm and proceed with the tutorials so okay heading right to our tutorial um, the, th the only thing that you're gonna need for this is a good quality chroma like this one that you can see over here and in case you can't afford one in my last tutorial I showed you how to deal with the bad chroma keys so click here in the in the card that you can see over here <clears throat> this link and it will link you right straight to my last tutorial so that you can make a good green screen like this one and another another thing that I gotta say is that uh, this tutorial is not mine I took it from this guy after many time <laughs> looking for him I finally found him he's Lucas Plaff, Plaff <laughs> and I saw this tutorial like pff, I don't know some years ago and it's really really nice but the only thing is that he has a really awesome method to key out but um, he has uh, like three videos regarding Chroma King and it's like half an hour each video and that's a lot so I'm just going to compress the three of his videos the, but again it's his method not mine so after having made that clear we can start so we will drop our footage this one um, this is from a short that I'm working on that I want to drop the trailer through Kickstarter soon it will be called Route 66 it will be a fusion of Kung Fury and Mad Max and <laughs> I think it's going to look really awesome so the first thing that we want to do is make the dispel I know that usually this is the last thing that you do but in this method that we will uh, that I'll be showing you <clears throat> it's the first thing that we want to do so first of all we want to create many copies like three more copies a part of the original one and we wanna only have visible these two so we wanna get the effect um, channel mixer and we wanna drop it on the second layer so we wanna get rid of all the green and for doing so we will get green green we will put that zero and then green red 50 and green blue 50 um, we got we, we got rid of the green but also of the reds and so and how can we fix that well we just have to click here and put it to darken mode and this way we will recover all the colors except the green you see we got rid of the green sand this is something really cool and in case you're not okay with the result because here for example is like you know the typical 80s lightning that one side is like purple and the other side is like blue and you can play around with the values you know depending on how you want the lightning to be I think something like this will look okay okay so now we can pre-compose this as girl spill and now it's time for us to get with a uh, with a king um, <clears throat> the way that we will do this is pretty different to what probably you have seen until now we'll get our key light effect and we will get the color as close as possible to the character and we wanna put it to screen matte and don't 
you, you don't have to care right now about all the details of the hair and so just keep in mind that what we want to do now is have our background completely black and have our main figure you know not again not caring too much about the details completely white so we will take the clip black something like that and we'll get the clip white okay something like this um, we want to put a little bit of softness maybe two and also shrink minus two maybe a little bit more minus three <clears throat> and another thing that you want to do is put this to hard color because if you put it to soft color many times it can get you noise around the the edges and so on you know it's better to put it in hard color and now we want to recover our details over here so we should get our second layer drop the kill light effect again put it again to screen mat and now again put it to hard color and just take away the black and we have our detail but we can see that there's a little bit of here and over here of noise so we will put this to screen mode and what this does is that we keep them in figure that is what we want to have white but also with this one layer we can keep the details what comes to be regarding the hair the wires that we have over here and it's something really cool you know uh, when I saw this method from this guy I was like wow this guy is really smart actually and now it's not our case right now but what should we what should we do if for example I have some reflection over here over the glasses or some other work <clears throat> well we'll have we would have to create a new solid and make it white and just take the mask tool and put it on here for example and we will have to mask it you know press M click here and go around and keep going like this and it happens exactly the same thing in case we would have some noise at the background that is like not totally black we would have to just create a black solid put it invisible and just keep it like this and mask it masking it you know making sure that it doesn't get in on top of our main footage and so but you know it's not our case so it's just in case it was yours that you know there's noise any in the um, no matter that was in the figure or in the background, just do that and it will be solved. Now, we will have to pre-compose the whole thing. Of course, if you needed to add a white or black solid, you will have to also pre-compose it. And we will call this girl Matt. And what we want to do now is take here what says none and put it to Luma Matt. So it will get a Luma Matt and it will do a really nice king and now you can see the, the details better and you know just in case if you need to do some kind of adjustment adjustments it's just up to you if you wanna put the effect of um, how was it hard refined hard matte well oh, sorry first you will have to pre-compose this that's it pre-compose girl king and now you can add your refined hard matte or whatever effect I will personally not recommend it because this is what happens you know it can <clears throat> if you have detail like hair and so it will just you know this will happen but if you have like a straight figure like there's no detail like hair or soft details you can just put it so this is basically the method that I want to share you with you guys and I hope that you found it helpful somewhere and I invite you to subscribe to the channel if you're not yet and to like the video and please let me know in the comments any other tutorial that you would like to have any other way that I could help you and I'll do my best so I hope that you find this tutorial and I hope to see you in my next tutorial so see ya